Hey yo, what's going on fellas? How are we doing today? Alright, so I'm just done servicing my entire motorcycle from top to bottom and uh, replaced the engine oil, engine coolant, air filter, oil filter, fuel filter, the spark plug. You know, servicing also includes uh, cleaning the throttle body and the fuel injector. And I'm done, you know, adjusting the chain and lubing it. So, uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video, you know, make sure to check it. You know how to perform complete service on your KTM RC390. So, uh, while I was uh, replacing the fuel filter, you know, uh, there was this, when I took it off, you know, there was this huge uh, junk of, uh, you know, rust came off from the other end of the fuel filter. So, that's when it occurred to me, you know, something is off with the motorcycle fuel tank. So uh, let me show you, I've already took off the motorcycle fuel tank and let me show you what's going on inside, all right? So here we are. This right here is the fuel tank and uh, this right here is the fuel pump and the fuel level sensor. This little thing moves up and down. See, this indicates the fuel level. So you can see there's a lot of rust formed on the bottom of this as well. So I'm going to show you a simple way of removing it and uh, all you need is caustic soda uh, 400 grams will do the job you know caustic soda the formula is NaOH sodium hydroxide you can buy it off at any local general store you know in India we call them Kriana stores or uh, whatsoever uh, this one is 500 grams only and I've, it costed me like 50 rupees only all right so uh, this right here is the fuel filter the new fuel filter I've mounted and uh, let me show you uh, while taking off the old fuel filter you can see over here there was a lot of rusty liquid coming off from the other end and that's when it occurred to me you know there's a lot of rust formed up inside the fuel tank all right so let me show you inside the fuel tank i've already took off the fuel filter from the bottom you can see this thing is mounted on the bottom so let me show you what's going on inside over here all right so you can see at the bottom of uh, fuel tank there's a lot of rust formed up uh, the primary reason might be uh, you know uh, the water might have gone inside through the fuel tank cap or you know uh, some petrol pump guys you know they do this stuff you know they mix uh, petrol in water so uh, petrol you know being uh, lighter than the uh, water you know it floats and water settles down you know forming the rust on the bottom oh my goodness that's a shitload of rust over here and uh, you know that can really mess up the octane level of the fuel you know uh, you can see up on the cap side the rust is formed as well i mean that's a that's quite a rust over here so uh let's see yeah, this is the apparatus you're gonna need we got caustic soda your object from which the rust has to be removed and you're gonna need a bucket of hot boiling water over here all right now remember the reaction is going to be exothermic it's going to release a lot of heat all right i've got 90 90 degree boiling water over here and when you mix it up with caustic soda the temperature is gonna rise up to 150 degrees so make sure to wear gloves and uh, wear a mask and you're gonna need an old uh, cloth just to uh, you know cover up the exits from the fuel tank all right so here we go so i'm just going to put a piece of cloth over here so that the water doesn't disappear from the bottom You can see the bottom is completely covered. All right, so we're going to pour some hot water inside. You can see. See the bubbles formed up inside. All right, so we're gonna add some more caustic soda inside. Here we go. You can listen. The reaction is going on inside. can hear all right so shake the tank vigorously you know make sure not to touch the water you can see the gas is coming out of the tank
Alright, now that uh, most of the rust has been removed, it's floating around in the water. You can already see the color of water. The rust is coming out. See over here. See the color of the water. The rust has come out. There was a shit ton of rust inside. So we're going to just remove this cloth and you'll see for yourself. Now this tank is quite, uh, you know, it's heated up. So make sure to use all precautions. Ah. Now the temperature has risen up to like 150 degrees so I'm having a hard time removing this piece of clothes. Alright, so you can see the rust has disappeared. You can see the rust has come off. Let me show you inside. See? It's completely disappeared. You know, you don't need to perform any electrolysis or anything. It's a real simple right now. I'm going to remove the rust that has been formed up on the bottom of the fuel pump. So we're going to dip it inside the water in your pocket and we're going to add some plastic soda inside it as well. Make sure to dip the fuel filter as well and to make sure to, you know, this connector should not be dipped inside the water. Alright, so here we go. see it started to disappear keep it inside the solution for another five minutes and you're good to go use an old brush just to scrape off the upper portion you can see the rust has disappeared it's just uh, pure metal left up inside so no electrolysis or anything let me get a closer look you see you can scrape it off you know you can polish it using a piece of brush you know even if that's not necessary you can see the rust has completely disappeared so we can now we're good to go you know make sure to wash both of your fuel tank and fuel pump using high pressure running water i'm gonna do this right now cleaned it and you can see so make sure to let it dry for like uh, one hour in the sun and uh, make sure to fill the fuel immediately or it's gonna rust again you see so make sure to uh, replace your fuel filter after uh, like 1000 kilometers of uh, doing this process and let me show you the inside of fuel tank you see all of the rust has been removed and we got the residues it can be wiped off using a piece of cloth the other side you see it has been cleaned off so we're going to go we're gonna let it dry for like an hour in the sun and we're gonna fill the fuel and we're good to go